this is going to be a review on the Frankfurt Arsenal rotary tumbler uh, for stainless steel media and bought this from Midway USA uh, the current price was $1.99 I think it was it comes with uh, stainless steel media five pounds worth of that everything you see in the box picture there um, it does not include uh, that bottle of solution but it does come with a pack I'm gonna come over here and show you I've already taken a liberty to unbox everything and this is basically what you get it's plastic however it does seem to be uh, pretty well made I do like the feature that it has a timer and you can turn the timer to whatever length that you like I also like that it comes with these screens and I like the design of the tub because unlike some of the others it can't rust it's plastic for one and uh, with the caps designed the way they are to seal it up you use a solid and then to drain you can put this one in and it has a rubber o-ring on this one I guess I guess you don't need it on the on the screen because you're gonna be dumping the water anyway and it comes with five pounds of um, of stainless steel media I haven't compared this to any of the others I hope that's showing up in the camera but I'm assuming it's pretty much all the same across the manufacturers and of course you get instructions it does come with a solution I'm not going to try this yet I'm actually just going to try um, this recipe that I've seen a lot of other guys use uh, some Dawn dish detergent and lemon shine and I got some brass I've already taken the liberty to deprime haven't sized it or anything just range picked up brass I guess you'd call it uh, pretty nasty hopefully that comes into view you see the primer pockets and the neck and uh, just pretty nasty looking stuff now this is uh this wet tumbling is pretty nice feature in that whenever you don't want to worry about getting um, residue all over you uh, in the air airborne powder fouling and things such as that uh, this would eliminate that problem so what I'm going to do I'm going to add the solution in to the tub put this brass in here and let it run and then I'll bring you an update on what it looks like okay I put my 223 brass in there I've got uh, a, probably a tablespoon of lemon shine and a few drops of Dawn dish detergent, liquid dish detergent. And uh, so I'm going to go ahead and seal it up, put the cap on. And I assume that you got to really make sure these things are <laughs> tight in order for it to make a good seal. So, what I did with the other side, and I'm going to do with this side, is hold it with my feet and lock it in, and then really crank that thing down. And it says to test. And I guess that's a good idea to test to make sure that uh, you don't have any leaks. So. Yeah, so far so good. Let me just put it on there and set it for about one hour. Now right away I noticed it spins pretty fast. And I assume never had the uh, Thumbler Tumbler Model B, but uh, that seemed pretty quick to me. No speed adjustment to it, but um, we're just going to assume that they uh, have it set to, on the speed that works best. So we'll let this run and then we'll come back and take a look at it. Alright, we took the brass out of the solution, dried it off, and this is our results I have to say it is very clean uh, but probably part of my drying process wasn't what it should be uh, you'll notice some water stains on the cases if you look real closely back up there we go and um, I don't know if that's normal or if that's uh, just where I messed up on the drying process uh, allowed that water to sit on there a little too long I want to show you a couple of these 
I got my light here. Let's see if I can get the camera to focus on that. Let me uh, come back here. I mean, it did get even the primer pocket. All right, come on, camera, focus. Pretty clean. Yeah, there we go. And um, inside the neck, also, uh, that's as clean as I've ever seen them after tumbling. And this was just one hour, um, so I'm expecting even better things, you know, with more time. Um, but even inside the case is extremely clean. Outside looks nice. Hope that is focusing for you guys. But um, I have to say that they did it. it is extremely quick way of getting your brass cleaner than anything I've seen. I don't have uh, other wet tumblers to compare it to, but the design of the features that it comes with is very nice in that you get these caps for screens. It works well. And um, the clear caps, notice here in the picture, don't have it in front of me, but uh, it's nice so you can see you know, what's going on in there. Not that you need to, it's just <laughs> sometimes it's nice to be able to see what's going on. Um, but I noticed as I drain it out, you know, the, the screens do do a great job of holding the brass back. Of course, your your pins are going to come out with that. So what I did, I just dumped it into a bucket and then um, water and pins were in the bucket. Shake the drum a few times, all the pins come out. I also have a, a RCBS uh, media separator. Uh, that I tried to do on a second batch that I ran and I find that's a whole lot simpler and easier to do it that way uh, but the, then the dilemma is separating the, the pins from the water because they say do not store them dry uh, wet you want to have them dried out and uh, so what I'm looking into is possibly a some sort of uh, bag made out of cloth that would allow the water to go through but yet catch all the pins but I believe this is going to be a, a good purchase uh, and as far as I'm concerned you know it's the way to go to clean your brass however if you're already set up with a media tumbler such as corn cob or walnut vibratory tumbler uh, it may not be uh, feasible to, to get into this but if you're starting out reloading and you don't have anything yet uh, you could go this route for a little a little bit more money uh, but you're getting a whole lot better results and it's a whole lot quicker I've, from what I've seen to get this result with my vibratory tumbler with walnut media that's treated I would have had to tumble four or five hours probably and then I would have had the dust to worry about as well where this way there is no dust um, Put the thing outside in the garage or you know or whatever on a pretty day put it outside let it run uh this is just one hour the next batch i'm gonna let it run for a little bit longer and just see you know if it gets the inside even better but um highly recommended the frankfurt arsenal rotary tumbler so far so good if things change then i'll update on this